Oh, look, a package arrived for me while I was at work. I wonder what it could be besides an advertisement for Walmart. I think I should open it up and see. Yeah, it's mine, D. Walker. Oh, looky. Turned out to be a Chefman Barista Pro. Be able to make espressos, lattes, cappuccinos. Not going to do a unboxing on this, but I will show you the product once I get it out. Just kind of want to show you kind of an overview of everything. I'm going to wash up all the uh, all the parts that are removable. You get a one cup and a two cup. You get the scoop, which also is a little tamper. That's the milk reservoir here. Behind it is pretty good size water reservoir. I'm going to pull these things out, wash it. You, like I say, it holds a really good size glass. The frother is adjustable. After I wash it, I'm going to have to prime it before the first use. I'm um, going to wash up my stuff first, then I'll run it through a prime cycle. Okay, I'm getting ready to prime the machine. This is a back reservoir. I mean, it's pretty huge. And when you prime this, you got to fill it to the max line. The milk reservoir, which is... In the front here, we got to fill that to the max reservoir too. I've already put the uh, the two cup in here and inserted that inside the machine. And got to put a little put something to contain the water that's going to come out. All right. The frother wand directed in there. To turn it on, you turn the unit on with the button right here. Then you've got the display lit up. So, in order to prime it, you hit the double cappuccino. And we should start up in a minute. Well, less than a minute, of course. Hmm. I wonder if I'm supposed to hit that again. No, there it goes. There it goes. Hmm. There we go. Starting to get a little impatient. It's priming the frothing side first. There we go.
There we go. It's all primed. And tomorrow, I'll make my first latte. Monday, I'll probably do some espresso shots too. Single and double. There you go. 40. Done my first latte out of it. Now I'm gonna do my first espresso. All right, it's time to show you how the machine works on a double latte. There we go. Should start frothing pretty soon. Takes a little bit of time for this thing to set up. Now it's about to kick out the latte, or the espresso I should say, sorry about that, there we go. Doesn't take long. I've tried the, uh, the lattes, the cappuccinos, the espressos. It's all good. I'm very happy with this machine. So as I said, I'm very happy with this uh, new espresso machine. I've tried two different coffees through it. This popular pre-ground brand here. And some light roasted, uh, it's a combination of Central American and South American beans. And so far, my freshly ground, uh, I grind the beans at home, I've got a grinder. So freshly ground beans here, just a, a step up above this for, for my taste. Now I haven't tried this in the lattes, so I'm going to try that in the lattes too. But uh, this wasn't bad. The espresso shots were comparable to, uh, in fact, tasted exactly like what I got from uh, from Starbucks. This one, better, superior. Something I get in uh, 
a specialty coffee shop if I went and got a, an espresso out in the streets. I had, with a combination of this and my, uh, my mocha pot, I was pulling better espresso shots than, uh, than Starbucks just from that. So it doesn't surprise me that, that this is a winner between these two. But the espresso shots I'm pulling out of this with the same beans, superior to the, uh, to the mocha pot. So overall, I'm very happy with the, uh, with the machine. I know I'll be getting my money's worth out of it. It's my first, uh, first espresso maker. I did uh, several months worth of research before I got it, and this is what uh, my choice boiled down to. I recommend it to you, too. Okay, as I was putting the video together, I decided no review would be complete without demonstrating the cleaning feature on this. So, let's give that a whirl. This is the second time I've done it. It's all done. There you go.